I think I found one of the best chicken shops in Manchester. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna try a new fried chicken shop in Manchester. Well, I think it's fried chicken. It's called Fried Guys. Honestly, I haven't looked at the menu. I kind of wanted it to be like a little bit of a surprise like for myself, you know, it's a small thing. So let's head inside and look at the menu together. Hopefully it's a gem. I think it's pretty new. So I don't think many of you have been before. And I'm right by it, so it's right there. It's opposite somewhere that I think you'll all know, which is Nawab, but it's right there, guys. Let's uh, let's check it out. Judging it from the outside, it looks nice. I, when I heard th fried, guys, I thought of like maybe like a chicken shop or something, but it looks nice. Let's have a, a proper look inside. All right, so let's uh, let's head inside. So I did just come in a second ago, but I'm going to pretend I didn't. So we're going to look around. I'm going to show you the menu quickly. So I've asked the owners, you know what? What's good? What should I get? You know. So I've narrowed it down to a few items, but I'll show you them in a, in a second. But it's a good amount of seating, actually. Some foliage going on. It's kind of fancy. Let's keep it real. This is this is is this not the fanciest like chicken shop you guys have seen? <laughs> this is nice. We've got the marble tables going on. That is fancy. You know, I almost feel a bit underdressed. You know, I've got joggers on, trainers on, all I really wear. It's nice. I think I'm going to camp somewhere here because it's a little bit private and then I'll uh, just talk through the menu quickly with you guys. Okay, so I've sat down, get myself nice and comfortable. How posh is this? It's like, you're like a, like a chicken shop. This is really nice. Like, I like the seating. I'm impressed already. I feel bad for judging it, thinking it'll be like a, like a Philadelphia, Miami kind of shop. It is not like that at all. It's really nice, but let's have a quick look at this menu. Okay, so you guys already know I'm gonna get the spicy chicken meal. Like it's just gonna happen the double, right? That's just standard for me, right? But I saw that they actually do a grilled chicken. I'm always looking for a good grilled chicken place. So hopefully that hits the mark. And then we'll just kind of play around, maybe get a shake to cool my mouth down, we'll see. Ultimately, I just wanna have fun. I wanna have a spicy chicken burger. Maybe they do pizza, maybe try that. I just wanna have some fun and hopefully uncover a really good place to eat. I'm excited. Expectations are actually extremely high because spicy chicken burgers in Manchester are very good. So you have to have like high expectations. So I'm gonna order my food. It's gonna come out soon. And hopefully we're gonna get a good hidden gem, fried chicken, lovely seated kind of takeaway review okay so i am so impressed with the look so far so we've got a double spicy chicken burger there look at that <laughs> I like the look of that and then we've got a peri burger here immediately i like the, that they use different buns you know attention to detail they're meals so they come with uh, chips and they come with a drink as well i've got that and a water so yeah visually so far I'm impressed i've ordered some more food but Good start, let's try it. So yeah, there's a lot to look at, a lot to absorb. I've asked for some wings actually as well. I've got a few more bits and bobs coming, why not? But I'm gonna, do you know what? I'm gonna have to start with the, the actual uh, chicken burger. That's my, one of my favorite things. It's a proper Manchester thing. And it, I mean, look at this. This is an absolute beast. I mean, it's massive. I love the meat to bread ratio. Honestly, I always think a single will do. But if I'm gonna order it, I'm getting a double. I want the protein, but really, come on. Look at the size of it. That is absolutely massive. A single will do, 90% of you I would say will be fine with a single. But let me try this. Visually, I'd say it's a lot redder than the other ones. They have almost like an orange tint, so it looks quite different. Mmm. It tastes different too. I love that it's different. It's got more of, I'd say, maybe, obviously spice, obviously, but it's got more of a masala -y kick to it. Definitely a little bit more masala -y for me. A lot to eat, but even though it's massive, it actually kind of retains its shape. It's not too sloppy, which I think is, is impressive. The meat is super soft, super tender. And guys, it's kind of blowing me away. And what's mad is that I've had so many spicy chicken burgers, but this manages to still be different. Like it's definitely got more masala taste, but visually it just looks different to the rest. It tastes different to the rest. My phone is recording all of this. Let's just turn that off. That's absolutely delicious. I've not had anything else. I've only had that, obviously. I'll have the rest of the stuff. Come in here, get that. That is getting, guys, a big old hay. Man, that's del I love that. I love that. And I like that it's so different to the other ones that I've had, but they're all still spicy chicken burgers. And the pricing is good too. A double spicy chicken meal is $5.90, and you get chips with that and a drink. $5.90 for that. That's like a whole chicken in there. And then we've actually got some wings as well. So how good do these ones look? So these ones are uh, hot wings dipped in that sauce that I just showed you. So the, the the same sauce as the spicy chicken burger. But then these peri wings look good. One thing I should note about the peri, which they did tell me up front, so it's okay, is that it's kind of like half fried, and then they take it out of the fryer, and then they kind of um, cover it with their peri peri sauce, and they grill it. It's like a fried grilled kind of combo, which is fine, because they're up front with it. Let's start with the peri wing. Why not? Let's give this a go. 
I like the sort of charring around it. Ooh, it's <laughs> still hot, but I've committed. I need to do it, I've committed, I'm gonna go for it. Cause I just, I feel, I'm, I'm competitive. I feel like I have to now. I love the charring. I love the crispiness, the soft chicken inside. It's hot, it's fresh. It's unique, it's different, it's tasty. I think I underestimated the spice on, on the actual burger. You need a shake to like cool you down. The milk has like an enzyme in it which cools down spice, which is interesting. It's not that interesting actually now that I say it, but I'm gonna tell, now, now you know, now you know. So next thing is gonna be this burger because I think it looks good. I like the floured bun, it's quite saucy actually. And again, I did explain the situation with the peri. So it's kind of like half fried, half peri. Kind of somewhere in the middle, you know? There's a lemony kick to that. I'm gonna taste like a lemony kick, which is nice. Obviously, quick warning again, it is like a half fried kind of deal and then grilled. So you're not gonna get like a proper grilled piece of chicken. Like, you know, it's literally just raw put onto a grill, marinade, all that kind of stuff. You're not gonna get that. So it's kind of in the middle. So if you like that kind of stuff, you'll like it. I think that's decent. I think that's tasty, but for me, it's the spicy chicken burger that I'd be coming for. That's what I like. And I like these peri wings. I love the charring on these. They're really tasty. I'll try the other wings in a second, but we've got other food coming. So we're going to have that as well. And I love that this new sort of wave of spicy chicken shops are little touches. You know, they have good chips, cooked well, but they put like peri salt on them, which from a cost perspective is a really small thing. Just put a bit of peri salt, but small touches like that make a difference. Old chicken shops just don't do stuff like that. They just don't care, but places like here, I think the small touches with food kind of cumulatively add up. Okay, something's arrived that I have to show you. It's on the chair because there isn't much room on the table, but this is the half uh, chicken peri meal, a massive uh, bed of rice. We've got some lemon, which I'm gonna squeeze on and some salad as well. The next thing coming after I've just downed this because that food was spicy, that burger was spicy, so definitely packing a punch, is that peri chicken. However, this peri chicken is all steamed and grilled, so there's no frying going on. And then I thought, you know, it is a chicken shop. I need to try... This looks good. Okay, let me just show you. Look at this chicken. This looks crispy and fresh. It's... Oh man, this looks really good. A little bit surprised with that because chicken's just kind of hit and miss. A lot of places just don't nail it. The, the skin is like, or the batter is soggy and oh, it's just not good, but this looks mega crispy. Like, look at that. Like, I am loving the look of this. I am loving the look of that. So I think I'm gonna enjoy that. Even the, uh, the legs, one of my favorite pieces. So often people do not get the leg right. It gets really soggy. That looks really crispy, which is kind of what I'm after. So I'm gonna try this first actually. Then I'll go for the peri. Ooh. Oh, it's so soft. My teeth just glided through it, but there's still crispness around the edge. This is one of the crispiest, juiciest pieces of chicken I've had from any chicken shop. Like, I've been to some like high-end ones, like Peck and Yard, which is quite expensive, and it's like, okay, this is like half the price and blows that out of the water. Oh, the flavor in the batter is delicious. It's so like, packs of flavor. And you can taste like all the herbs and spices, there's a ton of salt, I quite like salty food, so the flavours are bold, it's not like plain, but not too salty. The chicken is soft. Out of all the chicken shops I've been to, I'd say that is the best sort of pieces of chicken out of all of them that I've been to in Manchester. That is getting a very well deserved. Hey, man, I absolutely, guys, get these. Get the uh, spicy chicken burger and then get like a bucket of chicken to have with friends. Even the bucket, guys, as I wipe my hands, I wanna pick up a menu. It's really well priced because you can get eight pieces. Hold on, let me just try and get that in focus. Look at that deal there. It's like, I think, is that $15.99? You get eight pieces of chicken. You get wings, you get chips, you get drinks. That'll feed like, what, four, five people? Maybe four, let's say, because you get eight pieces of chicken, nine wings, six chips, two sides, four strips and a drink for 16 pounds. With this quality chicken, that's amazing. I think I found one of the best chicken shops in Manchester. How good is this place? Also, I've not even touched my Pepsi, but how, oh, but my lips are so spicy. I'm gonna have to do one of these. <laughs> They're so spicy, but how good? That chicken, next level. The burger, next level. Um, but the chicken especially, that blew me away, man. I like a good piece of chicken. That was like some of the best fried chicken I've had, and what a surprise, I didn't expect it here. Especially, I guess it's wrong to do that, but when you think of chicken shops and things are quite well priced, you think, oh, it's only, say, three, four quid, how good is it gonna be? But this proves that actually there's some gems out there that are not charging the earth and you can get great food, you know? Okay, 
Now I know how good some of the food is. I wasn't gonna get the pizza because I don't know. So I just, I just fried guys. I don't know. I thought it'd be chicken and stuff. I just, I just didn't want to get it. But I'm gonna get it now because you never know. This could be a gem for that too. You just never know. But I'm gonna now try this half chicken. Let's give this a go. What I'm gonna do, guys? I'm just gonna use my hands. So if we can just pull that apart, it's coming apart very, very easy. That's the breast. You would imagine that'd be the hardest part to sort of pull apart. But um. I'm gonna show you kind of the inside so you kind of know what you're working with. It looks like it's been marinated well. Mm. You can tell it's been marinated for a very long time. It's definitely got more, I'd say, of a masala taste than peri, for sure, for me. So if you're expecting peri, you might be a bit surprised. It's got like a desification to it, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think trying some of the rice then, let's uh, give this a go. Yeah, definitely like a, like a deathly kind of rice to it. But try it, you might like it. I know it's really popular, isn't it? That kind of biryani style rice. I just can't stand biryani. <laughs> but there's a, a really good salad next to it, a massive body uh, bed of rice and half a chicken as well. So good portion size and cost wise, let's see what this is gonna set, set us back. Six, 650. That my friends, as of today's date, which I think is the 26th of July, 2022. Uh, I think <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good value in my eyes. So let's check it out. That looks cracking. I think that looks good. I don't know. I didn't expect it to look like that. I don't know why I didn't. It looks good though. So we've actually got the fried guy special regards to the pizza. It's got a little bit of everything, right? So I thought, why not? So let's check it out. That looks cracking. I think that looks good. I don't know, I didn't expect it to look like that. I don't know why I didn't. It looks good though. I think it looks great. Like I just, I don't know why I didn't expect this. It's like more of like a deep dish pizza and it looks fresh and the toppings look good. It looks very kind of like, I think Domino's-esque. Like it looks good. It looks a bit more clean cut than like the typical Desi Asian kind of pizzas. It's pretty heavy actually. It's a pretty heavy pizza. There's a ton of cheese on that. There's a ton of topping. Um, they could probably take a little bit off if I'm being honest, because it's quite heavy, but but let's give it a go. Oh. One of the most underrated things on a pizza is like the actual sauce. You want a good base. You want that sauce to be tangy. You want the base to be like pillowy and soft. Perfect. My brother Taz, Foodie Ninja, cameraman Taz, he'll know what I mean when I say saucy base. They've got a good amount of sauce because we don't have enough. It tastes dry. This right here tastes like a deep, sorry, that's my, that's my half eat pizza. <laughs> tastes like a deep dish, like pizza pie, full of cheese, full of toppings, which by the way are perfect quality. Really, really good, really fresh tasting. The brothers here said that they currently don't have it on the menu, or sorry, they don't have the printed menus, but it's coming soon. That's why I couldn't show it on the menu that I held. But by the time this goes live, the video will be out. I'm kind of surprised with that, if I'm being honest. That is a, a little bit of a revelation. That's a really, really good pizza. One of the better ones I've had in Manchester. And again, I wouldn't have expected it here, you know, because I, I thought it'd just be a chicken shop. This is one of the best pizzas I've had in like a, you know, like a hybrid takeaway shop where they do like burgers and they do a bit of this and they do a bit of that. This is probably the best one I've had in all those places. I don't think they specialize in pizza, but I think if everyone tried it and they tried the burgers and they tried everything I had, I think that would be one of the things that people always go back for if that makes sense. I'm not sure how many of you would give it a shot because if you're coming here, you're probably coming for spicy chicken burgers, you're coming for the pieces of chicken, the wings. So I'm not sure how many people would actually give that a shot, but give it a shot because I think this will be one of the things that you all come back for. You have it once and then go, that's my favorite thing on the menu. The food scene in Manchester is so strong. When you get food this quality in this lovely seating, priced the way this has been priced, it tells you how strong the scene here is. And this place, this is on Stockport Road, Stockport Road, it stacks up to anywhere on this road. It's one of the best places. So if I was coming down here, this would be one of the places that I will now go to because great pizza, great chicken. That's the best chicken I've had from a chicken shop. That is great chicken. And a really, really good spicy chicken burger as well. So you've got at least two hay man level items and the pizza is punching, it is close. So I would get those three again any day. Oh, and I like the wings too. I like the, I like the wings as well, the, uh, the peri wings. So if you're thinking about coming down here, trying somewhere, try this. It's fairly new. I think it's been around for maybe 
three, four months, something like that. I don't think it's been around for too long, but these guys are well, well worth a shout. I'm gonna leave their details in the description. If you wanna see some more videos in the Manchester area, just click up there, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and I'm gonna see you all in that next video. Ba 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 ba.